hello hello uh, so in this video i will talk more about the the truth oath and there what i'm going to say is not in the book it is my opinions in general about the oath um, um, so in the book the book is more is more like this there is an oath and this is the oath and this is why the oath is there i mean it's it's an it's a long argument for the oath okay um the book but it doesn't go into specifics because that's not the point of the book to be specific the book is not for the, the, the book is an introduction to to this right because what do we know about this oath well you never heard about it i never heard about it uh, before uh, and so therefore we are beginners when it comes to an oath of of truth and um, but you can see it uh, as a trace in religion you know amen means truth uh, so you say something amen and it means truth you know it's there um, but and, and it's on more places but that's for the book um, what what I do want to say is my opinion is about this oath and I want to uh, uh, as being as being the one to to present this oath um, I will say with my opinions and my um, my uh, with my credibility that I earn in this, I earn a credibility uh, because I present it. Um, but maybe I'm not first presenting this, it's just hidden knowledge, you know. Uh, but uh, there is a credibility here. Um, and I want to use my credibility to say that. The truth oath has not to do with being a good person. Okay, that's my, uh, that's my, um, and I've been thinking about this for a long time. Um, it has not to do with being good and doing good things, uh, but it has to do with honesty, truth not lying to yourself and not lying to um, to uh, to God you know if you if you find something that is God and, and I would say that it's the Sun and I'm, I have my a long argument for it um, and yeah um, I have things I want to say, but it doesn't fit to any context right now. Uh, but um, so um, let's take that later. Uh, anyhow, the oath, um, the oath is simply truth. And that's why it's so simple. It's not it's not like you should be good. No, it, it's just truth and know about the truth. And, you know, if you are bad, if you do bad things, then as long as you are truthful, you don't, you you can't continue on that path. You know, you will not uh, allow yourself to continue on a, on a path that you are not uh, that, that you don't feel good about. You know, and you don't feel good about things that are um, that are um, that are truthfully uh, not kind to others and uh, but uh, I would say I would say uh, the how much you follow the, the oath is not at all related to goodness still right 
It's all. It's only about. Do you know the truth? Well, good for you. That's all. That's all you need. Like it's 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 like that, you know. So that's my opinion. It, it it's like so important with truth, and in my case, when I talk to someone, well, you lied to me. Can you please be better? And then people don't admit that they lie. They don't admit that they that 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 they are doing their best about something. Well, that's not that's not to be in the truth oath, okay? Being in the truth oath. But you know, maybe you don't have to admit to someone else if someone is if someone uh, wants you to be truthful to them, I guess you don't have to, you know, because your truth oath and loyalty is to is to this uh, to the sun, okay. So uh, I will also put my credibility there to like, well, can you know that someone is lying to you? Well, uh, if someone fulfills the truth oath, can it still lie to you? Yeah, I guess so. I guess they still can, because. Uh, because um, the truth oath is something you have with something higher and again it sounds a bit weird and I'm, I'm thinking more like what about a psychopath right um, can a psychopath know the truth and still be evil well and still continue to be evil all the time. Just continue to continue, continue, continue to be evil. Well, no. It cannot know the truth. It cannot fulfill the truth oath. This is so so in a way, in a way, because there are these theories on the internet about about psychopaths that knows everything in what they're doing. And I would also like to say, with my opinion here, that no, the psychopath um, don't know the truth. And the psych simply knowing the truth is to fulfill the truth oath, right? So, um, uh, so, uh, but what does it mean to? To know the truth and lie about it to someone. Well, I did something bad to a person when I was really young, uh, when I was young, younger, and it still uh, plagues me. You know, uh, uh, a friend. Okay, I did something bad. It still plagues me, but and and I can't get rid of that truth. And in my opinion, it's supposed to be like that, you know, it's supposed to be like that. Do you see? So there is there a need for forgiveness? I don't think so. There is no need for it. It's like, I don't know how to say, right? It, so the truth itself becomes this... Uh, burden in some cases when when you didn't get a chance to admit your faults to another person and uh, i would say that no is psychopath is not aware of the truth it has uh it, it, it it's it's uh, deranged the the view of truth uh, yeah, because there is this really good theory, like this interesting theory about psychopaths being aware of everything, right? And doing it anyways. I don't think so, okay? And that my idea is that truth must be more valued, right? People having a good... Um, 
a good relationship to truth it must be worth something okay and i think it can be i think it can be worth something if you put it into language like i'm trying to do here and drawing this the correct connections um, And some of you are thinking, well, you did talk a lot about water, like not when it comes to this book, but other, other times I talk about um, uh, this water god, uh, Poseidon and other things. That's a mimetic entity. I can honestly, uh, I don't like to say, I didn't want to say this, this opinion I said in the beginning, but there is no context for saying it, but I got this uh, humble message from this thing, this sun, okay, which is, um, there is no life without water okay and you know i know that life comes from the from the um, how do you say life comes from the change of entropy from the sun to earth okay and still i got this humble symbolism it's often text, like it's often text for me with the symbolism and, and the communication just on the screen. And uh, yeah, there is no life without water. These things can be on a t-shirt on someone. It is communication. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure of it. And uh, because, yeah, I can be in, in, in in a, in a trail of thoughts and then I got the answer on a t-shirt or something it's it's very often like that um, so yeah there is this extreme humbleness about this um, which is that I got I got this message about that there is no life without water and what is water it's you know, this is complicated subjects. Um, I can't say that, you know, I don't know everything. It's so complicated, guys. Uh, but...